Hey guys, how's it going? Lone Wolf Log Picker here. Uh, I wanted to show you guys uh, these disc detainer picks that I got. Uh, I got them off an app called Geek. Came as a package. It was about 20 bucks. Uh, I'd say probably about 25 was shipping, and it took probably about two and a half to three weeks to get here. Um, they actually work pretty good. Um, when I first got it, I had to, uh, that was too thick to fit between the disc detain the discs when you're going in and out. So I had to take some off of that, slim it down some, and then that's pretty much all I had to do with that one. And then this one, the, the rear tension, I had to take some off the sides of this here. And then I also took some down <clears throat> off of this diamond here. And I tell you what, these both work pretty good. It, better than I thought for the price I paid and everything. And then it also comes with this see-through padlock. It actually works good too and shows you everything that's going on inside but yeah I've popped this lock a bunch with these two and then the only other disc detainer lock I have is this this one and I've popped it also but uh, yeah I just wanted to let you guys know about those in case anybody out there is interested in purchasing any um, these are really the only ones I could find um, I know they make some for the abloys and stuff like that but I, I can't seem to find them anywhere if any of you guys know uh, shoot me a message or something and let me know because I'm interested in getting one of those but uh, okay that's those <clears throat> Okay, now we're going to go ahead and pick a lock. We're going to do this union. There's the bidding on that. It was pinned up by Doss Evers. We're going to use top of the keyway tension with the 50,000th pry bar from Sparrows. And I'm going to tension it counterclockwise. And then I'm going to use a uh, medium hook, the 50 thousandths, or 15 thousandths from the Praxis kit. Alrighty, let's see here. Zoom in a little bit so you guys can see. Nothing on one, nothing on two, nothing on three, nothing on four. Click on five. Nothing on four. Click on three, nothing on two, nothing on one. Oop, big click on five and drop down into a full set. Nothing on four. Nothing on three, some counter rotation on two, and a click. Another click on five, drop down back into a full set. Nothing on four, nothing on three, two. Click on two, click on three. Go back to the back again, start there. Click on four, <clears throat> deeper false set. Then on one, two, or three, four. Feels like five fell down. Click on five. Then on four, or three, click on two. Then on one. 
Another click on four, and we dropped into an even deeper false set. More on five, counter rotation. Couple clicks on it, nothing on four, three, click on two. Another click on five, an even deeper false set. Whoop, there we go. And then I bumped one and she opened right up. Okay. Get into this. We got a key. Go ahead and close her up. Stick a shim in there just in case there's anything. Might fall down in this little crack. Mm, that one don't fit. Try this one. Doesn't fit either. I wonder why none of these will fit. Try it. And I can't do it without a shim because I know there's probably something in there that's going to fall down. Let me try a different shim. This isn't making much sense here. Okay, let me get back to my first one that I made out of wood. Well, there we go. Okay. <clears throat> mm, those look good. One's got a T pin on the top. Mm, that was two. Two's got a spool at the top. Three's got a smaller diameter top. Oh, come on. Okay. And then five is standard. And then the core, we got threading in two and four, and I believe that's it. OK, 
Okay, now in the bot or up in the uh, top, we got. T-pin. And a brass spring. We got a spool. <clears throat> Another brass spring. Spool. Another brass spring. And a serrated. The brass spring, that can't go from that side. A nice homemade spool. And another brass spring. <clears throat> Nothing done up in the top. Go ahead and show you guys what we had here. Some good looking pins there. And that was a, that was a tricky pick. Um, I got to give it to you, Doss Evers. You did a good job on that one. Um, but anyway, I hope you like the videos that I'm making, and, uh, like I said, all you gotta do is shoot me some comments, and, uh, if there's something you wanna know how to do, or anything like that, just put it in the comments, and I will do my best to make a, uh, a, a how-to-do video for it, and, uh, just be reasonable about it, because <laughs> I'm not the best, but, uh, uh, thank you guys, uh, I appreciate all the help I get from you guys and everything, and uh, I'll be posting more videos shortly. Have a good one.